I'm posting this video today so everyone can fully understand the real facts about what has happened in this scandal so far. The people of Donegal need to know the full truth about this cover-up, which has been conducted by the previous and current governments with the help of Donegal County Council and the National Standards Authority of Ireland. Yesterday, Professor Paul Dunlop, Dr. Andrews Lehman and the other leading world experts investigation results were published in the number one international ranked journal for building, construction, cement and concrete research, which states unequivocally that MICA is not the cause of the structural defects in Donegal properties today. This accredited peer review study will undoubtedly be a game changer in the time ahead. Our legal team will certainly be looking at this report very closely. It may be helpful in my parents' High Court case and in the judicial review we are hoping to take in the near future against this government's fraudulent defective concrete block Irish standard guidance protocol known as IS465 and the unconstitutional statutory instrument SI25 known as the 9010 and enhanced defective concrete block grant scheme, which is denying all of us the correct engineering solution that will fix all properties destroyed in the scandal to date not just primary residents. We must not leave anyone behind no matter what they throw at us. The record also needs to be corrected on who actually exposed that MICA is not the cause of the structural defects in Donegal properties today, which the Government, Donegal County Council, the MICA Action Group and the National Standards Authority of Ireland want us all to believe. The word MICA should be banned now, never to be used by home and property owners again. On the 23rd of February 2021, Chartered Engineer Dr. Ambrose McCluskey wrote to Fianna Fáil Councillor Martin McDermott, who is the chair of the Make a Redress Committee on Donegal County Council. This committee is now called the Defective Concrete Committee, which it should have always been called, as MICA is not the problem. I am also a member of, of this committee, and to date I have been met with resistance from his membership and trying to expose what Councillor McDermott covered up for his pals in government. Then out of pure frustration and the lack of any proper response, Dr. McCluskey wrote to myself and 13 others on the 28th of June about his concerns and the lack of any proper response from Councillor McDermott as Chair and Donegal County Council's application section regarding his fears for his clients about what direction the 9010 Defective Concrete Block Grant Scheme was heading, which we all know today has turned out to be an unworkable grant scheme. Over the last two years, I have investigated and researched tirelessly the whole subject of all deleterious materials, reactive iron sulphate minerals, and its effects on concrete degradation that can now be seen in Donegal properties that have been tested by Petrol Lab in the UK. This has been a game changer to say the least, which has certainly come back to bite this unjust government. What I have exposed to date, along with the help of chartered engineers like Kieran Coyle, Dr. Ambrose McCluskey, Kieran Gallagher, coring contractor John Paul Fyron, local environmentalist and community activist Enda Craig, and not forgetting Petrolab, has been met with a wall of silence and cover ups, which is being conducted mainly by Donegal County Council and its elected members who are intent on protecting the Council's Executive, the National Standards Authority of Ireland and the Government no matter what the cost is to the victims in the scandal. Populist politics at its best describes this farce. Yesterday's report will not change any of the Government's bullshit narrative on this defective concrete scandal. They will continue to hide behind MICA as the cause, as they cannot turn back as this would be an admission of liability which would open the floodgates. The grant scheme is designed around this, which, is, which now includes a damage threshold based on the new damage condition assessment that has only been designed to slow, the, slow us all down en route to getting our homes correctly fixed by an engineering solution fit for purpose. That solution is full demolition, that must include foundations if not tested prior to the demolition of the defective concrete blocks. The more I read today, the more I am learning about this whole subject, which most do not understand. 
The government was well aware that most ordinary homeowners would never fully understand the finer details of what has happened in this defective concrete scandal to date. The government's senior civil servants have hoodwinked the Make Action Group and others which they did not even see coming, as the government made them feel so, so self-important by establishing and appointing them to the government homeowners working group on the 13th of June 2021 with the approval of the chairman of the Make Action Group, Eamon Jackson, two days prior to the first rally in Dublin, and only a few selected knew about this at the time. Secret meetings and secret deals that none of us were aware of or were informed about at the time. Sadly, this type of behaviour is still happening today. Yes, unchallenged. There has been a change in the names, but no change in the self-centred attitude of these new so-called leaders of the gang. Myself and 10 other homeowners are looking at the the possibility of taking a judicial review on behalf of the people of Donegal, and we are awaiting a consultation with one of my senior councils, which will happen in the next few weeks. This will better inform us legally what the chances are of winning or, or losing and what the cost will be if we lose. Only then will we know how viable this audacious attempt to challenge the government's fraudulent IS465 and unconscionable grant scheme will be. The last two years have been wasted by campaigners as we are no further forward in getting 100% financial redress or forcing them to give us the correct engineering solution based on all deleterious materials and reactive iron sulfate minerals being the cause of the structural defects in our properties today. We need a new direction and plan of action that will ensure that this unjust government and its agencies have that have denied us real justice will be held to account and forced to do the right thing by the people who elected them. The judicial public inquiry is a must if we are to have any chance of holding the people who have caused this scandal to account. Our civil cases should force the government to establish this tribunal, sooner rather than later. There are many aspects of this defective concrete scandal that most do not understand or never will. This does not matter, as I will fight for the underdog until justice is served. However, some people have already given up and will more than likely take what they are given in this unconstitutional defective concrete block grant scheme as they do not see any other alternative. This is a very, very sad, as we now have the forensic evidence that was sadly missing for so long, which should help us going forward. The government very cleverly set about ensuring that we were given a plausible grant, which is a cheap and nasty remediation option that will not give us real justice that we all deserve. The PR, propaganda, bullshit, promoting that this is unprecedented scheme that is costing the taxpayers almost three billion euro is certainly winning the war of words for them with the mainstream media who are at their beck and call daily the opposition parties and donegal tt's performances in this scandal to date have been so poor they are not even worth talking about if you want something done we need to do it for ourselves Jared Kelly, an affected homeowner and one of the campaigners that stood outside Donegal County Council's headquarters on the 27th of February 2023 before the secret meeting for the government's enhanced effective concrete block grant scheme uh, regulations, asked Fianna Fáil, councillor and drunk driver Cairn Brogan, are you going to call for the abolishment of the fraudulent effective concrete block standard IS465? His answer was, Why would I do that? And then he walked on, leaving Mr. Kelly flabbergasted, to say the least. However, I am not at all shocked at this councillor, as he was arrested for drunk driving when he was mayor of Donegal, which he was later found guilty of. Guess what? The vast majority of councillors let him go unpunished for this.